All right. More news to plow mm-hmm. through. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm choking. Uh, let's talk about Helldivers. Yes. Uh, f- stand down, Helldivers. Your battle is won. Late last week, Sony announced that Helldivers 2, one of the most popular multiplayer games of the year, will require Steam players to link their PlayStation Network account uh, to the game. So I play on Steam. Yes. I have Helldivers 2 on Steam. Mm-hmm. I think I linked my PlayStation account immediately. Okay. But... I, don't, I guess you didn't have to if you didn't want to. Correct. Uh, after a week of strong backlash, uh, including review bombing the game on Steam, Sony reversed course earlier this morning uh, and will no longer require PC players to link a PSN link to a PSN account. The strength of that player reaction cannot be understated. Within hours of its initial announcement, Helldivers 2 received over 14,000 negative reviews on Steam. This number ballooned to over 200,000 negative reviews in the two days after, enough to reverse the game's overwhelmingly positive rating to overwhelmingly negative. Uh, th- uh, though review bombing is typically seen as an extreme action players can take, it was apparently encouraged by one of Helldiver 2's community managers. I want people to make their displeasure known in a place where it can it might actually make a difference. Um, Spitz, a Helldivers 2 community manager who wrote on the game's Discord server, said, uh, Steam reviews and refund requests will do that. But players weren't content to just go after Helldivers 2. Arrowhead Game Studio CEO uh, Johan Pilstedt expressed dismay that players were also targeting the original Helldivers. It deeply saddens me that Helldivers game is also being review bombed due to the recent Helldivers 2 controversy, he wrote on Twitter. The review bombing created a knock-on effect for the game's presence on Steam. As the news caught on, players and others pointed uh, pointed out that the PlayStation Network was not available in certain countries, meaning that the requirement uh, would cause players in those countries to lose access to a game they paid for. Steam tracker site SteamDB reported that the game had been delisted in 177 countries where the PSN was not available. And there ha- uh, were reports from players that Steam was issuing refunds to players beyond the typical refund window. Then, early Monday morning, Sony announced that it was re- it would rescind the PSN linking requirement. On social media, players questioned how this all happened. Though the PSN account linking was always planned for the game and indicated on the Steam page, uh, Pilistet ah! wrote that uh, the unstable condition of the game's launch forced them to delay implementing the requirement. He also stated that there were apparently internal discussions with PlayStation that the requirement would anger fans. When, server, when the servers exploded on launch, quick decisions had to be made, uh, such as turning off linking, Pillistet wrote on Twitter. And now, finally, the requirement to re, uh, re-enable came from PlayStation uh, to help with moderation, and we had to comply even though there were concerns now uh, that there would be backlash. Now that the decision has been reversed, Pillistet expressed appreciation for fans and thanking PlayStation for resolving the matter swiftly. The game has been restored in the countries where it was previously removed, and it seems like players are changing their negative reviews, with Helldivers 2 now sitting at the mixed rating as the numbers of positive reviews slowly trickle up. Uh, Pillistet even poked fun at the whole event, sharing a graphic from the community manager uh, that turned the game's negative review uh, Steam graph into a design for capes players can wear in-game. Yeah, I was going to show that. Uh, yeah. People are apparently making a cape that is re- in reference to the negative uh, Steam reviews, which looks like this. That's fun. Um, yeah, so... It, 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 because it required uh, Sony account linking, that means that the game would just be unplayable in regions where... Uh, there is no PlayStation yeah. Network, and that is 177 different countries. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of countries. Yeah. Uh, so imagine buying a game, and then all of a sudden, a month later, you can't play it. But also to think about like even in countries where the PSN is available, what if you don't have a PlayStation account? Like th- those people yeah. exist. You bought a game, and now you can't play. Because I you mean, you got s- some games require you to make an account. It's a free account, right? So like. I'm not too butthurt about that. I'm butthurt that it isn't all of a sudden. Like, like, like it's like yeah, the game has existed that, for yeah. this long. If the game will launch like this, it's like whatever. It's yeah. like not a big deal. But you got a big old booger. Okay. It, 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 it's not a big deal. Uh, but since it was the way that it was for months, yeah. and people were playing it, and then all of a sudden, hey, by the way, now you can't play the game. Yeah. That's, like a, that's big a big yeah that's yeah. a big deal and it's something that doesn't need to happen at all yeah. we don't need 
there's no need for the game's fine yeah. right now. There's I, no need to have a PlayStation. Account. This is clearly Sony still trying to figure out this whole PC gaming thing yeah. or whatnot because they have released games before, but those were all single player games. Those games you can just release as is. When it comes to multiplayer with online servers and accounts, like that's a whole new feel for them. And knowing the way uh, the PlayStation division works, they probably they definitely wanted you to have the PSN accounts from the beginning so that they could have a whole like unified system that they could control. Yeah, I could see why PlayStation would yeah. want that for their first party games. Do Xbox first party games require you to have an Xbox account if you buy them on Steam? I doubt it. Yeah. Because that's that's the way it should be done. Yeah. You know, you don't have to log into a console account to play your PC game. Yeah. yeah. You, you use your Steam account yeah. for shit like that. It makes sense for that. But again, PlayStation first party, they want to have as much control over it as possible. Exactly. And I yeah. completely understand that. Um, but I love how the Helldivers community all rallied around it. Uh, yeah, as they should have. forced them into yeah. uh, removing this. Uh, it's very... Uh, What's the word? It's it's. Would you say ironic for a game about? It's like a caricature of democracy. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there's some tyrannical overlord trying to make it so you need to link an account. So then all the people band together and fucking uh, downvote it to all hell, and all of their votes mattered. Yep. And that's democracy for yep. you. <laughs> it just goes to show the t the old saying. Bullying corporations work. <laughs> it works sometimes. Yeah, it does work. Um, I just w I wish they would have listened from the very beginning. But, yeah. Uh, I really like Hell Divers. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, and I kind of like how I like having the freedom to play it on Steam. Yeah. Uh, and on any device that I want. Mm -hmm. And that's part of why I like it. I wouldn't like it so much if it was locked to my PlayStation Five. I probably wouldn't even play it if it was locked yeah. to my PlayStation Five. Uh, but anyway, um, and I do like that they're making a cape for it. That's yeah, that's pretty fun. Uh, 